Boy, what a year 2020 has been. I wanted to kind of do a recap of all the things that happened accessibility wise in gaming. Because even though the year outside of gaming might have been a complete crazy show, the things that happened inside of gaming was really great. And so I want to kind of recap my top moments of 2020 in accessibility in gaming. Before we do begin, I want to say thank you and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone who has helped me support this channel and this community. Y'all have been really great throughout the year. In the past few years, we've done this channel and creating content and doing reviews on accessibility and gaming, and I can't wait to what 2021 has in store for us. And to start a recap of 2020, my brother and I got to travel to Seattle as part of Xbox's Inclusive Design Sprint. Now, who would have known at that time the virus would have exploded you know, later, months later, and now here we are at the end of 2020 and it's literally everywhere. But it had a really great time and it was a great moment for me to be able to travel to a different part of the world that I've never been, or the United States, and meet some developers and show the importance of accessibility and share my perspectives on gaming and how I game and give them a better idea how they can design more inclusively in the future. And a shout out to Xbox for that opportunity to be able to go and be able to pay for my brother to take care of me because without that, I would not be able to do it at all. Now, moving on to a few months later into May, there was Global Accessibility Awareness Day on Twitch. And me and a bunch of streamers with disabilities got to showcase what it's like to stream with a disability and play video games and show the importance of accessibility in gaming. And I was really glad to be a part of that moment in Twitch's history on the first ever front page celebration of Global Accessibility Awareness Day. And for me, that's kind of it on events. Let's talk about what we're really here to talk about the games. There were so many accessible games that I played throughout the whole year. From little indies like Wonderling to more accessible games and bigger titles like AAA games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Watch Dogs Legion, and Marvel's Avengers. And we also saw the most inclusive game on console, The Last of Us Part 2, which a lot of my friends in the community got to work on and show their hard work and dedication and accessibility and definitely paid forward with that great game. And it closes out in this recap of accessibility in gaming in 2020 was the inclusion of the Innovation of Accessibility Award at the Game Awards. Thanks to Jeff Keighley and all the people that got to consult and help make that event more accessible, as well as being included in the future cast members who are kind of pioneers in the accessibility community and those to look forward to the most. And with that, that was some of my top moments of accessibility in 2020. Let me know what your favorite moment is of 2020 in a comment below. If this is your first time here, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel that we can get all the up-to-date news on accessibility and gaming in the year 2021. So until next time, keep leveling up.